Hello world and welcome to the next video. Tucker Carlson knows exactly what he's doing. He has a really popular show on Fox television. And Tucker is actually a really smart guy. He knows exactly how to frame a narrative and how to tell a story. I think he would actually be an interesting person to meet and hang out with at a party based on his personality. Now when he tells these stories on his news channel, he is a little disingenuous and misleading, although he does it on purpose. He leaves out some details. He makes a frequent claim that Democrat-run cities have the most problems in the United States. He's half right, and that's why it sticks with so many people. In general, all politicians are failing to properly provide for America's cities. For his narrative, he prefers to leave that part out and just blame it on Democrats. The reason why all politicians are to blame for this problem is they're not really addressing the underlying cause. Certainly ignoring the problem is not the answer. Pretending it doesn't exist is not the answer. Trying to squash it with overwhelming force is also not the answer. A protest is simply a voice that is unheard, a voice that is unaccounted for. You can't blame the Democratic Party entirely for these problems in cities. They do share some of the blame, absolutely though. They've let many of these problems fester for far too long. And at the same time, President Trump has stoked the divisions of the country and has caused many of these things to flare up at this time. He's encouraged the violence. It's not only him. One person is never the entire problem. It's politicians collectively causing the issue. Tucker Carlson knows this in his reporting. He sometimes flips back and forth between different opinions, and he contradicts himself. He likes to go with shock value and shock factor in his arguments, and he goes with emotional stories to pull at the heartstrings. And he is effective. He has a very popular show, as I stated earlier. But the key point, if you just say that politicians on one side of the aisle are the only ones to blame for the problems, what you mean is you're trying to make a political statement for your own benefit. There are many reasons why large cities are primarily governed by Democrats. Dense populations more often vote Democrat. They need the social services that are in the area. They need the public transportation. They need the many things that are required for a large city to operate. And in general, Democrats are more in favor of those things than Republicans would be. Republicans are better for small government areas. So certainly different cities and areas around the country require different governance. The issue of just blaming Democrat-run cities for all of the recent social unrest is highly misleading. You have to look at the complicated, nuanced issue of what is going on. There are many factors involved. Certainly, Democrats share the blame, but they are not the only ones to blame. The people pointing the fingers most intensely do need to look back at themselves and see how they are also contributing, how all politicians in general are contributing to these problems. If you're a fan of this independent analysis, please do like the video and subscribe below. Thank you.